Now there was a boy who had a very bad temper. Who just used to say anything to anyone without realizing the consequences when angry. One day his father gave him a bag of nails and told him to hammer a nail into the fence every time he lost his temper. Now on the first day when he lost his temper for the first time he hammered his first nail and realized that it was very tough to hammer a nail into the fence controlling the anger was much easier anyways the first day ended with 20 nails hammered into the fence with each day the number of nails hammered dwindled and finally he reached a day when no nail was hammered he was very happy to tell this to his father who in turn told him to now pull a nail out for each day he did not lose his temper and finally all the nails were pulled out one by one now his father took him to the fence and told him look son you've done well you've done really well but look at this fence it has got holes which can never be mended now once you stab someone with a knife or your words no matter how much you feel sorry later you can't undo the damage now how do we react when we reach our office and see that a task has not been completed by a team member or what happens when the guy who cleans our car in the morning doesn't turn up and we have to drive a dirty car don't we abase the culprit the moment we see him next but do we ever try to think that there could have been a mishap behind it what if the slum in which the car cleaner lives was flooded with the rain water because it rained heavily last night what if the son of your homemate fell sick due to food poisoning what if the colleague who failed to do his task actually met with an accident now trust my experience even if you get to know the reality before you get a chance to abase that person the guilt of thinking about abasing him without knowing the reason keeps haunting you for so many days but then we are human beings and we are all driven by our personal interests mostly so anger is the natural by product of disappointment so what's the best thing to do well, i do a simple trick whenever something like this happens i start thinking about something entirely different so that i can step back and think about what could have happened that way i can wait before making an opinion and it always helps to handle the carelessness if found any in an extremely calm and reasonable approach thank you